Yeah, so I did some work on my 330. Uh, so that's pretty much, there's a good amount that's changed, but, um, so let's just get started here. I got a lot of the dirt off besides a little bit on the counterweight. I just think it looked dumb. It kind of looked like a kid was playing with it pretty much. There's a little bit left in the bucket, which I, I like the look of that, so. I pretty much got most of it off. I kind of just cleaned the undercarriage. Uh, and then the first thing I did was add it, started added some black. So I added a little bit of black to the counterweight. Um, added a little bit of black under here. And then I added some more weathering grease there and over there. Um, then the undercarriage added a lot of silver. Took all the mud off. Um, I think it's pretty realistic looking. You would never really see it because it would always be rusty. So I'm going to try to get some rust pigments and then just add a little bit of rust to it. I don't want to do too much but because I don't completely like the look of rust. But it is really cool looking. So and then add a little bit more silver. The bucket's pretty much the same. Add a little bit of grease and stuff. And then pretty much the next big thing was I cut out the hydraulic lines that Norska gave. They look like crap. Um, really, they were really bad looking because they were like sticking out and all. And I hated the look of it. So just cut them out. And added new hydraulic lines. It's going to be kind of hard to see. But, um. I just got some cord. Black cord. Got it off Amazon for six bucks. Um. And did it. I added one for the bucket and one for the auxiliary. So I added one for the auxiliary. But I kind of tied it in. I'm sorry. It's just it's so dark. So I just. I. Norris got did a bad job with the auxiliaries. So this was running, and then this just stopped. You can see. There's one for the bucket there. And then on the inside, there's one for the um, auxiliaries. And they did, they just ended it. They didn't add anything but put it on the stick. So I just glued more cord. You can see, glued it up here. The only problem is it's got a little bit of... It bends up a little bit, but... Just tied that in there, put a little silver for the connections. Add a little bit of silver there. And that's pretty much it. I had a little silver there, too. Because that's where the connectors would be, and I added silver on the um, bucket there. And same thing on this side. Just got some cord. And I did that because, if you own a real excavator, and I need to add um, weathering here. I need to put some grease, because from the line slapping it, the stick and all. So real excavator looks like that more than a freaking just... The line to it that looks so dumb they always have that little bend in it so i really like the look of it now let me know what you guys think and quick update this will pretty much be the last video for two weeks i'm going on vacation um i might get some videos in but i doubt it um i'm just gonna have my laptop and not my normal computer so there's a chance you might get a video but probably not no stop motions for a little while and then when i come back i still gotta make it so it's gonna be a little while but i i'm not ditching you guys. I'm just going on vacation, so just want to let you guys know. So let me know what you guys think of my uh, 330, and also I put the North Scott cab, which you guys already know about, but just pointing that out there. So thanks for everything, and uh, see you guys in two weeks.